Hey, this is Bob, aka Fat Face. Um, I'm going to talk about something that might be, I don't mean to be edgy, but it's, it's kind of taboo to talk about stuff like toilet paper, but I want to talk about my adventures with good stuff. I always used to buy the cheap stuff, and then I tried, you know, Angel Soft, then I tried even newspaper, and I went to Charmin Ultra Strong, which was really great. But then I found this Quilted Northern Ultra Soft and Strong. I've never been made enough money to really buy good toilet paper till a couple of years ago and I really want to talk to you about this quilted northern um it says it has two plies it says two layers that flex and hold up I don't know how paper flexes kind of rips if you see that but Let's start with the natives. Like, that's false advertisement, of course. And one thing that irks me a lot is these squares are so tiny. Every, every, every toilet paper company has tiny squares. Whose rear end is can wipe like or non rear end can wipe very good with one square? I I don't know. Okay, um, but that's it. I can't knock them because everybody does that and it irks me. And uh, I gotta talk about the packaging since you know I'm a packaging guy. And this is typical for uh, toilet paper people. It's uh, pretty strong stuff. And, you know, you get to see the product before you buy it. Um, it has catchy uh, words. Quilted Northern. It looks nice. The graphics. It's not as good as Charmin because they have a bear. And this doesn't have animals. I, I like having, like, animals. And, and, you know, Angel Soft has an angel. But I would say that this outdoes both Charmin, Angel Soft, you know, uh, cheap stuff, Walmart brand. Um, it's also... The same price as Charmin. It is three cents per square foot. And uh, I really like the softness and the strength. Because I I I I push really hard. And sorry for the image. But the one thing it says that these 12 mega rolls equals 48 regular rolls. And I don't get that math is kind of confusing. I don't I don't understand toilet paper math. Uh but it, it that's a lot. But I don't know who does that because I use the same amount regardless. Like let's say if I'm using that much um just because I have a better toilet paper doesn't mean I'll take it like that and use that much. I don't think that would be very good. Anyways, the texture, they have the nice print on here. Right, you see that? Sorry about my hands. They're pretty dirty today, working. Well, um... One thing is these mega rolls are really fat and they have a hard time 
fitting on conventional toilet paper rolls holders and they they if it's on the wall it kind of gets stuck but i have one that is not attached to the wall it's a freestand so it's like perfect and so and it's i like the wideness because I, I, I'm wide, and, I don't know, I seem to enjoy it better, because it used to hurt with the cheap stuff, and then, now I've gotten better stuff, and, one thing I like, that it says septic safe, I have a septic tank, and, it'll be better for it. I don't understand that math. Four times as many. Hmm. But anyways. Um, I, I would say. That I would count this. As. A, you know. Probably. I would like to give it a nine. But I'm certain. There's something better. Because there's got to be something that. Has bigger sheets. Than these tiny things. I, I'm going to find it. But I would give it a nine if it weren't for these tiny sheets and the the weak graphics on the packaging, because pack, packaging graphics are nice to have when you're in the store. It's all catchy. But anyways, so I would like to give it a 9, but I, I will give it a 7.5 if... Uh, I can't find, if I find something that has bigger, bigger plies, then I'll give it a 7.5. But for now, it's like an, an 8.9 or a 9, or or a 9.1, I don't know. But I would advise you, you could buy it. Um, it's uh, the same price as Charmin, and... It's probably better. I don't see false advertisement. That puts it down a little bit. Flex. It does hold up though. Well, this is this is uh, Fat Face, and thanks for watching. Bye.